Hello everyone and welcome to the third and the last chapter of module 2 where we are learning to write our own smart contract in near in the assembly script language. In this third chapter, we have just one functionality pending that is how to write a function to end the game. So let's begin. The game, what next? Uh, of course, the next thing is to end the game and declare the results, right? So let us see. We of course need the game ID, not to forget that. Oops. All right. Let's get the game as well. Uh, game ID. All right. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to again take our random number generator, right, and generate a random number. Okay. Now, here is an interesting thing, right? So, we can either generate a random number between 1 to u32.max value, or we can go back to the roulette, right? And see what is the maximum number in the roulette. The maximum number in the roulette is 36. So, why don't we try to generate a number between 1 and 36, right? So, let's try this. All right. Okay. Now, so we have our random number. Now, our uh, a random number, or let's call it the winning number, right? So, winning number percentage two equal to one. That is, the winning number is odd, right? So, let's have a const val is equal to Okay, let's uh, try to check here. So the winning number is odd, right? So if the winning number is odd, then um, if the user, okay, let's keep the Boolean as one for odd and zero for even, right? So if the user has a, a guessed one, right? Then the user wins in this case, otherwise the system wins, right? Mm. Should we also have a winner, right? Yeah, we should. So here the winner, let it be the context dot sender by default, right? That is us, I mean the game itself, right? So we need to check if the game dot guess is equal to equal to true. then the um okay so let's do this right if the game dot guess was false then we change the winner right otherwise we let the winner be uh, oh so we didn't set the player right when we uh create when the player joined the game. So that also we need to do. Right, uh, it will be on text dot sender, whoever desired to join the game. Right? So now game dot winner would be game dot player. As nothing. So 
so if the if the number that we generated is even right and if the guess is true then the game dot winner will be the game dot player in the other case as we have already said the winner to be the uh, contract itself that should be fine right so let's update the game map dot set the game id and the latest game updates right now what we will also do in the end game is that we will transfer all of the money to the winner right that needs to be done so how are we going to do that let us take the help of this previous contract right i'm just going to yep all right i'm going to copy this i will explain this code in just a bit uh this logging is not necessary all right so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to here we are going we are calling doing a cr uh, cross contract call so this is another contract called contract promise batch right which is going to wrap the game winner in such a way that the game winner can become a beneficiary to whom we can send the money right now where do we get this we will get this from the sdk i suppose yes so it's present in the sdk so since we are not using the persistent vector let us remove is maybe make this so you can make this as short as possible right to save your memory space for easy access as well um what we are going to do here is okay all right so now the two beneficiary is the one to whom all the money will go right so the game winner whoever has been set will be sent all the money now how much money do we need to send we need to send the we need to send an addition of the game bet amount that was sent by the user plus the initial amount that was created for this particular game so we add both of these and then we just want to return the winner now this transfer function will transfer the addition of these two that is the total amount to the beneficiary the beneficiary is nothing but the winner whom we have created here right now here we are just returning the game dot winner so here we need to ensure that we are able to return something so we are going to be returning a string all right so the rest of the contract we can happily delete because we are not going to be using it. all right voila so our contract is done here now in the next video what we are going to do is we will be uh, running this contract using the scripts that are present under the scripts folder uh, and then we will be uh, seeing how to call the different functions and see the contract in action right uh, and post uh, along with that we'll also learn to write some small tests for this particular contract so yeah uh, thanks a ton for joining me today folks on this uh, particular video hope uh, you were also writing the contract with me and kind of understood the nuances of uh, writing a smart contract in assembly script and in the next video we will see how to run this contract and how to uh, call the different functionalities of this contract right so thank you once again for joining me thank you everyone for joining me throughout this series of the three chapters where you have learned to write your own smart contract in assembly script which can be deployed to the near blockchain in the next module we will look at video series where we will be deploying our contract on the local net i hope you enjoyed writing your smart contracts and now are ready to start spinning up some of your own